Hey everyone, as you can see, I'm in my Echoey kitchen and I've got my Surface Pro 6 connected up to my 34 inch Samsung ultra wide monitor. I've also got my audio interface plugged in here, as you can see there, because the lighting's good here, but the audio is pretty bad. It's quite echoey in here. So what this is, is an experiment. It's really just an experiment to see how the Surface Pro 6 works with an external monitor. I've been thinking about putting a, a monitor in my kitchen for a while so that I can hook up any of my laptops, I can watch Netflix and Amazon whilst in the kitchen and perhaps hook up a games console or something. So for me, I think it's a practical way uh, of adding like a television to the kitchen. But when other people are adding a television, I would probably be using it to connect my laptops like 90% of the time. So I think this is a good thing to show because the Surface Pro 6 is known for being a travel kind of laptop tablet. It's light, it's portable, it's all those things. It really is a fantastic little device. I was away last weekend and I took the Surface Pro away and I used it in a way that it's kind of marketed as. It's, it's lightweight, it wasn't a lot of weight in my bag. I was using it as a laptop to do emails, to do browsing, to do some uh, basic videos for my YouTube channel. And at night time, I was taking the case off and using it as a tablet to watch some films and, and watch some things on YouTube. So it works great as that. But I think that there is a risk for smaller devices like this that when you're home, you're not going to use them that much. Now I've been using this a lot in the kitchen, hence this setup. I've been using it in bed a lot, but when I need to do a lot of Photoshop or do a lot of video editing, I'm using my main PC or I'm using my more powerful laptop, which makes sense. The performance on this isn't sluggish, but it's not as good as my other computers. So I'm always going to turn to the most powerful computer when I need to do something work related. So I think there is a risk that when you're home and you're not traveling, you won't use this as much. And one of the reasons why you, you might not use it as much is because of the screen. Now, I love the screen. It's fantastic. It is the perfect size, but you don't want to be sitting working on a 12.3 inch screen all day long. It just doesn't make sense. And this is where an external monitor comes in. It really does transform how you use the Surface Pro. Now, you could, I guess, technically browse two different windows, you know, divide them up in your Surface Pro if you want, if you're just using the tablet. But I think that for most people, comfortably you would use one browser tab and use you know one window at a time. But with an ultra wide, you could easily have one here and then have another two or three there. Now the good thing about the Surface Pro 6 is that it's got a mini display port there and I've got a mini display to display port cable. And this allows me to connect up to a 4K monitor or TV up to 60 hertz. So this can do 4K at 60 hertz with an external monitor, but it can also connect up to two 4K monitors if you buy the Surface Dock. Now I've ordered the Surface Dock, it should be coming soon, and that will allow me to connect to two 4K monitors if I want. So it will be a three screen setup. It will be the Microsoft Surface Pro 6 and two 4K monitors. Now if you put two of the cables and run the monitors directly through the Surface Dock, Apparently one is at 60 hertz and one is at 30 hertz, but there's a workaround. You don't have to limit your 4K monitors to you know 60 and 30. You can put one 4K monitor directly through the Microsoft Surface 6 and you'll get 4K at 60 hertz. And then you put the other one through the dock and it will be 4K at 60 hertz. Now I'm not sure how that will affect CPU performance or you know graphical performance or anything like that. But I think that's pretty amazing that something as small and portable and, and lightweight as this can power, can power two 4K monitors and its original screen. I think that's pretty fantastic. And as I was saying at the beginning, this is an experiment. I've been messing around with the mouse and just trying to get an idea of how I can use this in the kitchen because I have been using this in the kitchen a lot, but I do think that a wider screen does really transform this and it really does make it a more versatile device. And I do think that most people who buy a Surface Pro 6 should think about buying a mini display port cable and trying to hook it up to a monitor because I do think you will use it more. And I will complement this setup later as well with like a Bluetooth keyboard and all that. This one is wired. And if I take this keyboard away, 
you can see why I won't be using this particular ultrawide down here. The base of this stand is absolutely massive, which isn't a problem upstairs. But down here, I've got about 49 centimeters from the wall to the end of the counter. And this stand takes up 31 centimeters. And it's enough to squeeze in a keyboard, but yeah, the screen is right in your face. I was looking at another ultra wide last night that has got a stand where it's like the depth is like 17 centimeters rather than 31. So that may be a little bit better. But I'm going, to, I'm going to spend some time and look more into this, look at visa mounts for different stands, maybe mount it against the wall, um, or maybe just look at a 4K 20-inch or 30, uh, 32-inch monitor, or even a, a 1440p monitor. I'm going to look at my different options, but um, really the, the thing that I'm trying to get across here is that if you do have a Surface Pro, it is a fantastic de device, it is versatile. But what I'm trying to do here is put a monitor here, hook up the Surface Dock so that when I come in, I just hook up one cable and I've got everything connected, the keyboard and everything. And then one cable away, just use the, the magnetic connect cable, you know, from the dock. And then I can take it away. And once again, it's a travel laptop. It does transform the setup, it really does. And, you know, I won't just be using it for the Surface Pro. I can use other laptops. I can connect other things as well. So I hope I've given some of you guys some food for thought. Um, at this point, I'm not rushing out to buy it. I was very tempted to buy something last night because I saw a deal, but I'm going to do some more measurements and, and look at stands and things like that to try and get the perfect setup here. Uh, but I think this is something that if you've got a, a Surface Go, a Surface uh, Pro 6 or any kind of mobile device, um, I think you should look into setting up something like this, maybe get a Bluetooth keyboard and pushing the monitor against the wall. I think that this kind of plug and play system works really well with lightweight laptops. I think it works really well, perhaps less so with a big, you know, 17 inch laptop, but for something like this with a 12.3 inch screen, if you can hook this up to a, a more powerful setup with it, you know, the, the higher resolution and all that, more pixels, then I think it's going to really change how you use the device. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll speak to you all very soon. Take care.